So welcome back. We've got Emily from Finders Keepers in the Loft with us today to unpack the new trend of deco swapping. Welcome, Emily. Lovely to have you. Thank you, Bonnie. Everything looks so gorgeous. Can I just ask you one big question? Of course. When I think of deco swapping, I think of people trying to get rid of the stuff that they've been hoarding for the last number of years. How do we decide when it's time to keep something and when it's time to let something go? It's a good question. For me, I think it's a personal choice because some people do get attached to items. Um, but we can't, from a practical point of view, we can't hang on to everything. So things that you really don't like, somebody else will absolutely love. Yeah. So it's an opportunity to declutter and get together over a cup of tea with your friends yeah. and just, you know, help improve your home. Yeah. Awesome. And I find modern trends have a big uh, reconnecting element. Do you yes. think this is at the core of this is just connecting with your friends over something quite practical. Absolutely, it's a great way to get together. And just to get everyone in a room talking about um, how they decorate their home, what they put together. And it's just, it's inspiring also to get other people's ideas. Yeah. Yes. You know, everyone's got a different eye, so to get inspiration from your friends. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, there's like a large element of sort of repurposing when it comes to decor swapping, because you might see something that you want to repurpose. Mm. And like in examples of some of those, what should we keep our eye on when we're doing Yeah, absolutely. Like I mean, I've got some lovely old squash rackets there, or badminton rackets, which we could turned into mirrors. Mm. So, I mean, most people wouldn't hang on to something like that. They would either no. chuck it out or it would be a children's play toy for swatting flies or whatever but you know oh, if you one just wants to look beautiful. at herself in your mirror. she's like oh you or the mirror i can't quite tell which one it is so but they are gorgeous that yeah and you've also used this, yeah. this ladle here what happened with this ladle oh yeah that's a lovely old soup ladle um i've just made it straight and i've turned that into a soap dish so you know you just oh, I see. put a that on your wall yes yeah. yeah because it has a cute little hole yeah for so the you screen. can just put it in and then you can screw it into the wall yes. and just soap inside it next to the base yeah so it's about repurposing things they don't normally use because yeah. we're all buying modern things so we've got all these wonderful old things around us we've got quite mm. a lot of vintage things and I mean, this is also all coming back. So it's just about recreating your home. Would you say lava lamps are making a big comeback? Uh, yes. The 80s are making a <laughs> Yes, they here. are, absolutely. Yeah. And tin cans <laughs> is something I've seen quite a lot. A lot of people use old packaging now uh, to yes. sort of decorate their houses. Old pasta packets or, you know, old tins of things. You've also yes. got one there, which, I, which rocks. Yes, that, that is a find I found at a market. Yeah. It's wonderful. And, you know, you can get tins of all the different yeah. biscuits, teas, yeah. your sugars. It's, it's very trendy at the it's moment. It's quite appropriate since we're enjoying um, yes, cups of absolutely. fibrosis yes. iced tea. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You mentioned something quite pertinent earlier on about some people think that things are ugly, other people might not think <coughs> that they're ugly. So what happens if I think my item is too ugly to bring to something like a day course? Then bring it so you can get rid of it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think the best idea is that, I mean, you're not going to hang on to something that's ugly. Mm. So it's the best opportunity to bring it to a party. and. For you, if it, it might be ugly for you, um, yeah. but for your dear friend, they might think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And so, sounds like a bad off. relationship. You don't hang on to something that's ugly. You should never, <laughs> never. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Are there any hard and fast rules? Like one rule I can think of just off the top of my head is don't bring anything broken. Absolutely. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that there's rules. I'd rather use them as guidelines. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, I mean, for example, you say, I mean, obviously most things should be in good nick. But, for example, I've got this lovely old tray here and the tile in the middle is broken, but the actual because framework is so exquisite. But I mean, I would replace that with either a beautiful piece of wood or, mm, right. you know, a very funky mirror, and I'll right. turn that into sort of feature piece on a dining room table or, mm. you know, on a sideboard. So I think you just need to be aware of things that can be upcycled. Mm. And, you know, some people want to go for the, the china pieces and some yeah. people want to go for the real rustic junk. So. Yeah. Go with an open mind. Take and would you say the more mind. the merrier? Or should you just keep it to a limit of, of like a number of people, maybe a handful, like four? If you're a hoarder, you should I was going to say, it depends on your friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, some people really don't want to do it. Um, I think that you'd figure out, you know, through your friends and their friends. So it's a great way to just connect with your friends and meet new people as well. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, obviously people can bring junk with them. So you need to have a decent space. So yes. like you're saying, summer's coming. It's perfect to do yeah. it in the garden over yeah. iced tea. 
And um, yeah, but it's also fair. One of the rules, it would be fair. Um, if you bring 10 items, you know, then you can leave with 10 items. Yes. So you can't so bring five items and, and walk off with, with 10. How yeah. do you value those, though? So if I maybe brought out this vintage elephant that I was handcrafted by Mahatma Gandhi himself. Well, then you wouldn't want to get rid of then it. Then you wouldn't want to get rid of it, true. <laughs> but how do you value the items that you're bringing to know what to swap it for? I mean, it's hard to say. If, you, if you're wanting to know the value of an item, then you're obviously looking at the monetary value. Then yes. that's something completely different, and you take that to a collector. Oh. But if you're taking it to a party, then it's something you want to get rid of. So you're taking it to then gain something back from somebody else's job. So you yeah. don't lose out, yeah. So you don't lose out, absolutely. Yeah, I must say I'm really attached to this mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, a hot new trend to revitalize your home this summer. And why not cool things down during these hot summer months with one of these deliciously refreshing aromatic iced teas? A different way to enjoy your tea during our hot summer months. And if you want to stand a chance to win a fabulous gift pack of Five Roses flavored teas, SMS the keywords Five Roses plus your name and city to 3378. SMSs are charged at one rand fifty each. Teas and C's do apply and are available on our website. Until next time, keep cool and remember nobody makes better tea than you and Five Roses.